yeah, there was the Champions, there was any number of shows at that time. I mean, even Thunderbirds, you know, was, uh, was tapped into the Cold War thing. Um, you know, Man From U.N.C.L.E., all those shows, Spectre, Smirch, all those shadowy organisations, you know, that was all about the Cold War. I used to love the Champions. Alexandra Bastida in front of that fountain. They were agents working for this organisation called Nevesis, based in Geneva in Switzerland. Our enemies varied. They were sometimes the Chinese, they were the Russians, they, they could be anybody at that time. Commence phase one now. Of course, because of political correctness, you know, you can't make anybody a villain these days because we're, we're friendly with everybody, or at least maybe we are, maybe it's superficial, I don't know. All of those ITC series that start in the late 60s are intimately connected with the Cold War. In a way, they're television's answer to James Bond. In a few minutes, the world's two greatest powers are going to wipe themselves out! I laugh when I think of people doing lectures on these series or seminars because for us, we just, it was just work and they were, you know, fun and he went that way and waving guns around. I think they got everything wrong if, if what you're looking for is uh, any kind of relation to reality. But what they were trying to do was entertain. Missiles have been launched! We've got to find the distract switch! Well, at the time, one thought of all those series, Department S, The Avengers, as being sort of lightweight, but in fact, um, I mean, in real life, uh, there was the possibility of problems with the Chinese and certainly the Russians. It's OK, Sharon. I found it. My mother always said, you'll be very lucky if in your lifetime there isn't a Third World War. Richard, it's all right. The Cold War had its attractions, but along with the agents of international communism, one old enemy simply refused to go away. The further from the war we got, the more powerful he seemed to become, at least in television's imagination. Come on, you here, Fräulein. 